Okay, so our next project is the leather feather. And what we're gonna do is, this is the leather feather, front and back. And here's one as well. You can do different colors. Um, I put a teepee on because I wasn't good at um, blending here. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today is how to blend. And here's another one. Okay, so what you wanna do, I have all my paints, my brushes, everything um, was included in your packet, so you should have that as well. Um, I tried putting a white paper underneath here and it didn't really um, work out that so, so great, so I'm gonna try not to get it on my desk. So what you wanna do is you wanna start out with a lighter color and um, you wanna brush the paint on, of course. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna pick it up here. Actually, I'm gonna see if I can see if a napkin will be all right here. Yeah. <clears throat> so you can go down, um, say I want my black to be below that. So you kind of just eyeball, you can go as far as you want or as high as you want. Um, okay, so put that on there evenly, your white paint. And when you do this, you wanna make sure that you do the sides here and the back. So you're gonna be, you're gonna have to paint the front and the back. The front doesn't have to match the back. You can have different um, colors on the back. It's your feather, be creative. I'm gonna grab some more white paint here. So just be creative, make sure you cover everything. It looks like a different white, but that'll work. <clears throat> okay. So normally when you're in class, we would have you um, make this uh, this the middle of this feather and then also the hairs on the feather you would you would do that here in class but since you guys aren't in class um, we had to do those for you so you kind of miss out on um, using leather tools introduction to you know leather doing leather work a little bit and um, having fun with that. Some, some people find it easy to do. Others find it not so easy to do. That's how I was when I first started doing, um, using the leather tools. It took me a little bit, a little while, a little time to um, get used to doing them. And then also blending. So some people will find blending easy, some won't um, usually. I'll have the front dry and then do the back, but since time is of the essence here, we are going to start. So I have a few brushes. If you came in and picked up your packet, you could have picked up a few brushes as well. Um, you start doing your black. Okay. So again, it doesn't matter how far, you can um, bring the tips up on the side. You can make kind of really want your white to um, dry, but doesn't really matter. Um, and again, make sure you get the sides. So before we go on to the other side, what I wanna show you how to blend here. <clears throat> so some of you guys have come in and got your brushes. I was able to give you one of these bigger brushes. There are brushes that have um, thinner or uh, thicker um, that are coarse hair. So we're gonna use this one. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna dab it into the black and the black will kind of make that 
when you dab instead of going like this like putting brush on or paint on your brush and you dab it kind of makes those bristles um, come apart and you want to kind of tap it on paper or tissue and then you're going to take it and you're going to dab it on your white and your black and eventually go on up and it kind of gives that blend look where I have this white here it's okay because you'll just go back grab a, a lot of the black and go over that white okay so you kind of get that dabbing some people will grab some of the black see if it'll work and you you grab a hold of it and you're going to flick it Okay, I don't know if you could, you didn't see that because my hands were probably in the way. But when you do that and you flick it, you get these little, um, I don't know if you can see it that well, but you get these little dots here that have cut, flip, um, you flicked onto the paint. So, and you keep on just, you know, kind of experiment with your brush. Um, and then also, if you came in with your paints and stuff, grab me a little bit of black here. Um, you can also go to Walmart and get these um, colors that you want for like 70, 76 cents or something. You can also take a line and, whoops, draw it straight down. Sorry, that wasn't that, that straight. Um, since this is my back, this is the back of the feather because this has the, um, the feather, um, hairs on the front. Um, I also, instead of coloring, I also make a feather or a teepee, which a lot of students like to do as well. It's just a triangle. And this is just the art for me, just, you know, painting on a piece of leather, being creative. So we got that. And then what I usually do is just um, make a V, a thin one, and another thin one. And then bring that down. And then just fill that in. And these are those teepee flaps. And then you just maybe bring a couple of sticks down. Rinse my brush. And then you can use red or white. Make a door. And um, can make three dots just to give it character. You can also do three here if you want. Okay. So I basically kind of just wanted to show you the blending there. 
again. Here we go. You want to make sure your whole feathers covered again. Get that lightness, that blending. As you can see, remember how we had trouble with the back because it was um, the white was still um, wet. This is a little bit better. Again, you can also take some paint, grab the bottom of your brush and whoops, that one went a little bit too much, but that's what will happen. Which is okay, it gives it a little character there. And then you can continue working and blending those colors so that it's not just a straight across black or you know how we, we made the black go round. You get more of the blending in there. So trial, trial and error there. Um, it looks all right. Make sure you get the, the sides there so that it's fully covered. And there you go. Um, I would also put the dots in the front. Another way you can do them, grab the end of your brush, dip it in your paint, and one, two, three. Okay. So there you have it. There's your feather. Let that dry. Um, I'm not sure if our little helper put um, holes in yours. If not, um, if you find a pen, you can stick it through there, make holes, get a pair of scissors and make, make some holes. Um, so there's that. So now I'm going to show you quickly, just let move that aside and let that dry. Um, for the other part, grab a tissue here. So for this part, what you want to do is you want to make sure that it's sanded because what, what, what the sanding does, it helps the paint adhere to it. So just run that across. Do that to the front and back. You also want to do the sides, just smooth those out, keep working that sandpaper around. Whoops, sorry. Sometimes I think I'm on camera and I'm not. But what we did was we went and sanded this whole disc, both front and back. doesn't have to be like totally sanded just as long as it starts looking white like that that should be pretty good so I'll just sand it okay sometimes I put it on the table you have a little bit a little bit more control you can turn it to the side sand it like a wheel Keep going around in circles on that. It's pretty easy. So on the feather, when you start making those um, lines, you, you usually use a stylus, a beveler, and a hairline um, shaper. And then you cut it, cut it out to your feather shape, and it becomes, you know, your own creation of creating your own feather. Um, they're pretty fun. A lot of people have fun with that project. There's so much that you can do with it. So I sanded my little feather. And then um, what I've been telling students to do instead of, um, you, can, you can do anything with this um, from 
doing the medicine wheel, which I'm going to show you how to do, um, to something like this. Okay, this is kind of supposed to have that quill look. What I would do is just put this into fours with a pencil, just something light, and um, just kind of make it, eyeball it, make sure that it's kind of even. It might be a little too high there, right across this little eyes there. Okay, so this one's pretty easy, you guys. Um, Definitely want to start out with the light color, white, of course. Um, I was, our, where we're from in areas, there's no wrong or right. Um, there are different beliefs, traditions for the medicine wheel. Um, you have the natural um, that have different um, directions for color, some use yellow, um, white, red, and black. Um, I always learned that it's white, yellow, red, black for the youth, or um, infant, youth, adult, and um, elder. So split those in half again. Yeah. So it's, if you have different colors even, some people sometimes you use um, blue and green. This one, I'm just using the four colors. So you wanna make sure also to get the side. Okay. So let me grab some white so I can get the side. And then I'll just use this side for the yellow. And then and I'm going to grab some black here. And it's my last color, so. So there you go, you guys, it's really simple. It shouldn't take you that long. Um, it'll take a minute for it to dry on the black back. On the back, you can paint any color that you want. It just has to be one color if you want. You can do double. I'm just gonna use my fingers. Um, some people do a blue, some will do it black. It's no no specific way. This This will be the back of your medicine wheel and it will dry fast here because of the, the rawhide sucks in all that ah, stuff. So there we go. I got a mess here. So once you get, once you get that done and on, you're going to take your string and you're going to thread it from the front to the back here. So I'm not sure. So let me take this off real fast. And I'll show you what's going on here. So we'll move this aside. So basically your feather should look like that at the beginning. Okay, when you're finished um, painting it. And you should have gotten a, a string like this in your packet. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your wheel and through those holes, you're going to thread your leather piece through like that. There you go. 
and then you're going to thread that through your feather again i noticed that some of them didn't have holes but if you have an awl or um, something sharp that could make two holes or you can bring them in when you pick up your packet and um, we'll put holes in it for you and this is all it is everyone um, you have this piece here that can bring out you can also get another piece of leather and put that in there and pull that through so this leather just kind of dangles there and you can also tie that into a little knot and then you just tie these two you just tie those together and bring them around so that like that and then that's how you hang it and there you go you guys you're done with your feather okay here are some other feathers that students have done here's a red one be creative some that i did as well it's a purple one um, i think i showed you guys these here's a seahawks color one that I did when I was trying to learn how to blend. So as you, you know, you get, you get better and better and you learn where and where not to blend your colors. And then here's a bunch of red ones, um, other colored ones. And this is the hairline I was telling you, talking to you about the one I did a little bit wide, but it, it will work. So there you guys go. I hope you enjoyed this one. Simple, it's easy. If you want to wait, you want to put some beads on there. When you come in to get your packet, you're more than welcome. Ask me for some beads. Um, we have supplies. Um, we have a lot of, you know, um, leather strips. If you wanted to do, you know, put more on. If you want another feather to do, I do have a few um, feathers. Um, sometimes they do look a little better if you did two feathers and um, if you did those together like that oops where's the camera you had two feathers and you fused them you or you know tied them together so that there's two together so um yeah so enjoy i'll see you at the next um class and um good luck if you have any questions email me or text me have a good night